boat in the Champ Fours event coming through. Um, this is bow number one from Princeton. Princeton's heavyweight men are racing past Riverside looking very strong. Go Tigers. We're excited to see some fast racing here in the men's Champ Fours event. Uh, the, a lot of colleges and universi or university and international um, top level crews are racing past. We have bow number two, UPenn. Some Ivy League racing early to start with Princeton and Penn duking it out in bow numbers one and two. It'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. Bow number three, Georgetown is coming past the Riverside Dock now, followed by bow four, SC Cusnot from Zurich. This is a combination of the bronze medalist Swiss men's pair and the bronze medalist men's Irish double from the Paris Olympics. Go Olympians. And here comes bow number five, U.S. Rowing, go USA. Uh, that's from Philadelphia, PA. Made up of 2024 Olympic team members and U23 medalists. Um, team member Evan Olson won a bronze medal in the USA uh, men's eight in the Paralympic Games. Go USA! We have an Italian crew coming through from Fiamghiale from uh, from Italy. These were also this is also made up of Olympians. Um, Emmanuel Caponi, Paul. Covini, Jacopo Figiero, Leonardo Pietro Caprida, and Alessandro Bonamenta. Uh, and then we have bow 27, uh, Big Red Cornell University, uh, coming past the Riverside Dock right now, looking very strong. Go Big Red. And a local crew coming through. We have BU men. Go Terriers. They are familiar with this course. They race it every day, practice on it, and uh, they are ready to set themselves up for a very strong race. Excited to brave the waters of Boston, um, FIT, our next crew coming up, um, has their fingers crossed for decent weather. I think they got it. They had a decent finish this season last year with a third place finish in the varsity four at the IRAs. And this FIT crew, bow number nine, Looking great in their stripes, um, coming back, coming alongside Riverside Dock. And here comes bow number 10, Oregon State from Corvallis, Oregon. Oregon State will return for their eighth straight years at Head of the Charles. Welcome back, men. You'll see them in the uh, Sammamish Oars. That is the club that I used to coach at and actually learned to row at. Go Sammamish. And we have bow 11, University of Wisconsin from Madison. This is their men's varsity four, crushing it in the champ four with a bucket rig uh, and bright red oars. Go bucket. Go Badgers. And we have some Tigers coming through. Bow 12, we have a crew from Princeton. This is their heavyweight men's crew. Go Tigers. I know my dad is listening to the live stream and he's probably cheering from home because he was a tiger himself. We have bow 13 coming through. Big Red from Cornell University, Ithaca, New York. Let's go Big Red. And here comes bound number 14, San Diego Rowing Club from San Diego, California. Uh, our notes say that this is SR SDRC's fastest men, which makes sense because this is a very competitive event and they look very fast. Here yeah. comes bound number 15, Washington from Seattle, Washington. They're varsity four. Go dogs. Many of you may have read the book Boys in the Boat. Um, that was actually based in Seattle. Um, it tells the story of some young Huskies during the Great Discretion, Depression moving, um, moving through and coming uh, to the 1936 
Olympics in Berlin. And Dartmouth has made a move. Bound number 17, Dartmouth. They won the four at the silver. Well, they won four. They won silver and the four at the 2024 IRAs. And here's 16, Fairmount from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And then we have, um, coming up, looking strong, we have bow 18 from Brown in Providence, Rhode Island. Brown finished fifths in points for the 10 AERC trophy at the IRA in 2024. We now have some stripes launching two wonderful uh, Director's Challenge quads. Uh, bows one and three in the Director's Challenge event are now launching from Riverside and we wish them the best of luck racing um, and uh, speedy times out there. Go stripes. Go stripes. Some very experienced Riverside members expertly navigate the uh, Charles River every year. Um, in this spectacular event, they are sure to go quite fast. And what's very impressive about St. Nick Hat is a lot of these crew members actually raced already this weekend. They voluntarily chose to race twice. And they, they, oh, they paid and voluntarily chose to be in these boats, uh, which is very, very impressive on all fronts. And they are looking just so strong, even on their warm-up strokes, so together, so connected, so clean. Go Stripes. So that was the end um, of the Champ 4 event, uh, when those stripey boats launched. Uh, our next event is at 12.48, so it just started. The men's lightweight fours, the course record is held by Yale um, from 2017. The lightweight fours was a very close race last year with less than three seconds separating the top three crews. All three teams are back this year with the Cornell lightweights leading the group at bow number one, then Penn at bow two, and University of British Columbia, UBC, at three, chasing them down the course. Both Harvard and Penn have two boats in the field of 10 entries. Just taking a little scan down our entry list, it looks like this is mostly university crews, uh, our, our lightweight men's fours. Um, sure to be some fast and tight racing. I think the lightweight events are known for very competitive and very tight, tight racing as all members of the crew have to be uh, the same size, which can, can lead to some really, really tight times. For those of you that have been keeping up with our, you know, goose coverage, uh, there is not a single goose in sight anymore, which is shocking considering that there is no boats right now. So they seem to come out when the boats are here. Oh, and here the racing has begun. Coming up to Riverside Dock is bow number one, Cornell University. Go Big Red. Go Big Red. These Cornell lightweights are looking really strong as they come into the powerhouse stretch. Um, with a, a gap back to bow number two, which is Penn. You Penn. Also looking great as they come down the powerhouse stretch, having just made the magazine beach turn. This is a long straightaway where crews can really make moves, press into other crews, um, take those, those tens and... Uh, their coxswain, all they have to do is navigate the bridges. Uh, no turning involves. We have a Canadian crew, UBC. Bow number three coming into view on the live stream now. They are looking very strong uh, and have traveled all the way from Vancouver, Canada. Um, go, go birds. Go Thunderbirds. We have the Harvard lightweight men coming into view here, their first entry of two in this event, bow number four. I want to give a special shout out to their matching sweatbands. We love a fashion choice and that is free speed right there. And the second Harvard crew is coming into view now. These, these lightweight men are wearing um, alternate jerseys in alternating colors, looking very cool. Um, and also, they all have backward baseball caps on. These lightweight men from Harvard, bow number five. Harvard lights bringing the fashion today. Nice job, men. 
We then have the second uh, U-Pen crew, bow number six, coming through, looking strong, coming past Riverside. Um, absolutely love to see it. No geese are impeding the bow number seven, which is Georgetown from Washington, D.C. These uh, bow number seven, uh, Georgetown, will be coming into view on the live stream right now. They are looking great coming past the Riverside Dock. And passing Riverside Dock is Big Red, Cornell University. Uh, this is their second entry. Cornell is a private Ivy League school. For those of you that have never heard of it, <laughs> it is a land-grant uh, research university based in Ithaca, New York. Ithaca is gorgeous. We do have two more crews coming through in this event, Bows 9 and 10, which will be coming through soon. Gordon College from Wenham, Massachusetts, and Kingston from Kingston, Ontario. We're seeing bow number 10 coming around the Riverside Dock. Um, this They have northeastern oars, and they are from uh, Kingston, Ontario. And they are looking great coming past Riverside, these lightweight men. And passing Riverside Dock is bow number nine, Gordon College from Wenham, Massachusetts, a local crew. Uh, th yeah, they are looking very strong and are the last entry right now that we have in this event. Our next event will be the at 12.56, starting in one minute, the Director's Challenge Men's Quad. The course record is held by G-Man Systems, 14.56. Um, competitors in the Director's Challenge Men's Quad range in age from their teens to their 70s. So you'll see some old guys rowing with young guys, and they all just enjoy getting out in the water and pulling hard. For instance, back at Bow 35 is a crew with three generations of um, Borgard CBC rowers, ranging from Roger at age 70.